Hello colleagues, my name is Konstantinos Kiritopoulos and I'm the principal investigator of the research project Holistic Management of Risk for Road Tunnels uh, that is described in this uh, paper. It's a pity that uh, we could not uh, come together, but thanks to technology, we can uh, uh, at least share our presentations and research findings. Myself, uh, I'm an associate professor at uh, the National Technical University of Athens, the School of Mechanical Engineering. The School of Mechanical Engineering, uh, the best uh, um, mechanical engineering school according to the international rankings in Greece, and uh, one of the top 100-150 um, mechanical engineering schools worldwide, is part of the National Technical University of Athens, which has been established in 1837. The National Technical University of Athens has uh, nine engineering schools, around uh, um, half a thousand faculty members, and uh, approximately 24,000 students. This uh, uh, project is about uh, road safety. Uh, it's uh, a consortium of uh, five organizations, uh, namely uh, Egnatia Odos SA, which is uh, one of uh, um, a highway operator, um, one of the uh, longest highway, um, highways in, in Greece with uh, more than 50 um, long tunnels, long saying more than 500 uh, meters. Um, uh, Tecmon SA, which is um, a, a small company uh, with uh, high intelligence um, that uh, um, uh, can share with us uh, um, very, very important uh, information uh, technology systems. Uh, the National Technical University of Athens uh, and the School of Mechanical Engineering, um, uh, the uh, research center Demokritos, which is a very well uh, known and established uh, research center in, um, in Greece, um, and of course the University of uh, Ioannina we, at the um, School of uh, Mathematics, where uh, it has the main responsibility in this project for the algorithms, etc., that we're developing. So, Road accidents is uh, um, still a, a very important problem uh, worldwide, uh, and this is uh, not different in Greece. We have approximately 76 deaths per million inhabitants, uh, when the European average is uh, 50 on the road. Um, Greece is doing much better in the uh, last years than uh, it was uh, before, but still uh, we have way to go. Specifically for uh, road tunnels, uh, um, this is a very important area because Greece has uh, plenty of them. The last 10 years, uh, uh, more than, uh, um, I mean, around 100 ton tunnels in, uh, um, uh, in Greece exist currently. Most of them have been developed in the last 10 or 15 years. And uh, the problem with tunnels is that uh, if you have an accident in a tunnel, that can have really severe consequences. It does not necessarily only affect the um, drivers uh, and users involved, but it might uh, affect significantly the infrastructure itself, as well as plenty of other drivers that are driving through the tunnel. So uh, this project is uh, all about uh, safety in, in tunnels and uh, it uses a, a holistic approach that uh, um, sees the infrastructure, the operation, the road users, the vehicles. Uh, um, and uh, in this uh, complex system that, uh, that, that we have, we find safety as an emerging property. And uh, with what we are doing, we are trying to improve this uh, uh, safety. The main research aims are to support the control rooms of road tunnels to respond adequately uh, in case of potential fire incidents, to develop educational aids for the training of uh, road users, and of course to investigate, uh, as I said, the road tunnel operation um, through a systemic view as, uh, as a system. Control rooms uh, exist in, for, for almost all the tunnels which are longer than 500 meters and uh, there is uh, European legislation now that uh, uh, is in place, so uh, all around Europe 
the, the, the tunnels uh, that um, are significantly long or they have uh, uh, very high volumes of traffic, they have to uh, be monitored by control centers. And in these control centers, you have uh, the operators who um, have the very difficult task of interfering and guiding uh, the, the users when something goes wrong, uh, or on the other hand, use the equipment and uh, um, uh, try to uh, alleviate the, the, the problems that occur. Now, uh, the project has uh, four main uh, axes. Um, this, is a, this is a quite uh, large program that uh, uh, we're trying to conduct. Uh, we're now midway into the project and um, today I'm describing the project and I'm sharing some of the results that uh, we have. So uh, the four axes, the first one is uh, about education, educating and informing tunnel operators and um, of course uh, um, the public. Um, the second one is to examine the fire behavior in case of, uh, uh, of an accident uh, that uh, where fire occurs uh, inside the tunnel. O of course, we do understand that this is probably the most important issue in tunnels, fire. And uh, the third one is uh, analyzing users' evacuation process. We're trying to understand how the evacuation is happening and uh, uh, try to, to, to see whether people uh, with specific equipment of the tunnel, they have the uh, right amount of time to exit the tunnel. And uh, the fourth part is about communication during a crisis. So how we communicate the information, what systems can we use, and how uh, all these things can work together. Now, um, apart from the main philosophy in these four areas, uh, the project uh, consists of uh, five um, significant axes. So, the first axis is uh, uh, about um, the analysis of the system. So, what we're doing is that we study the system uh, and uh, we, we study the system through uh, STAMP, which is uh, um, a, a new model that uh, sees how uh, the uh, information systems and people work together um, un under a system and how uh, the whole operating process uh, is. So we're trying to um, identify the main issues that can uh, happen uh, during the use of the information system in, uh, in a road tunnel and uh, uh, through this identify the, the main uh, risks that, uh, that can occur. The, the other part is that we're trying to develop algorithms and we have developed specific algorithms. Uh, this, is, this part was done by the uh, University of uh, Ioannina team uh, and the um, Research Center Democritus, where they have developed algorithms uh, that monitor where the patrol uh, vehicles of the highway are. And when something happens uh, with these algorithms, the uh, closest or easiest to interfere unit is called to uh, go and attend the issue. Um, these, uh, um, uh, these applications, uh, uh, they come as uh, mobile applications and of course there is um, a dashboard, uh, uh, a data center that gathers all the information and uh, shares it among uh, the participants. The second axis is about road users mainly. So uh, we run a, a, a long uh, study, um, a significant study. Uh, we got uh, around 1500 uh, um, filled in questionnaires uh, about the knowledge of users on how they should react in case of uh, emergency or what they, uh, how they usually drive within tunnels. Uh, some very uh, important conclusions came out of uh, this study. Um, for instance, that uh, users, uh, road tunnel users, do not have uh, a full understanding of how they need to drive inside the tunnel. They are not uh, uh, very well aware of uh, the risks that um, uh, they face, um, and uh, definitely they need education 
in order to, um, to, to, to understand how to react in emergency situations. So, for instance, uh, um, one of the basic rules that it is uh, when you have a one-way tunnel, you never make a U-turn if the road ahead is blocked. Um, it seems that there is a significant amount of users that would violate this. At least this is what they um, say that they would do if they find themselves in front of such a situation. Now, um, another thing which uh, uh, we're doing right now, as you can see in the photograph, we are developing um, uh, something like a game, a serious game. Uh, we're using virtual reality technology uh, and uh, um, we, we are trying to uh, model the, um, uh, a car which is passing through the tunnel and uh, uh, we're presenting some scenarios to the users um, so that we can um, make them aware of what can go wrong on one hand and then to show them how they should react in uh, each of these situations. The third axis is uh, mainly about fire and this has two parts. The first one is uh, uh, trying to assess the uh, to, to assess how a fire would work under specific circumstances, uh, how uh, the equipment uh, will work, and uh, in general, we're trying to model with uh, CFD, so three dimensions, uh, what is happening, how fire evolves, and what is happening inside the tunnel in case of, uh, a, significant, uh, of a significant fire. So we're talking a uh, fire of uh, uh, 100 megawatts uh, or, or similar. Um, that that uh, uh, information is uh, used uh, so that we can study the evacuation and uh, how much time people have to react in case of, uh, of a fire in a tunnel. Um, uh, and also we're trying to model their behavior, so to see if they're going to use the emergency exits or they will try to exit the tunnel from uh, the tunnel portals and so on. Um, another, uh, uh, another area that we study in this uh, axis uh, and we have very good results as well is uh, trying to monitor the dangerous goods uh, vehicles, the, the vehicles that the heavy good vehicles that uh, carry that are carrying dangerous goods, uh, and try to see uh, if we can capture through uh, photographs the uh, kind of uh, dangerous goods that are transported throughout the tunnel. This is very important for two reasons. The, the first reason is that we need this information when we are running the risk analysis for road tunnels. So this is a, a very important information for practitioners. But on the other hand, uh, when you have an emergency, if we manage in the end to make this uh, um, real time, we will have an idea if something goes wrong, uh, what kind of dangerous goods um, have been inside the tunnel when uh, the emergency occurred. And this information would be really very, very, very significant for the fire brigade and all the emergency services. The fourth axis, uh, which is mainly developed by uh, Techmonese, which is uh, our uh, um, uh, intelligent company, let's, let's say, is uh, the part of communication. So, um, uh, we develop a system that uh, will be able to share the appropriate information in the appropriate time to all the stakeholders involved. This includes the emergency services, the uh, um, uh, also of course uh, the the control room um, and uh, all the the patrol uh, vehicles of the uh, highway operator. Um, this is uh, very important because it uh, helps uh, the um, the emergency services and the appropriate people that are the first aid respondents. To, uh, uh, to, to coordinate the actions and uh, act together as, uh, as a well-functioning team. In the fifth axis, uh, this photograph is from a previous, uh, uh, from a previous drill that we have done, um, 
and not as part of, of this project, but this is hopefully uh, something that we will achieve to, to do in this project uh, in the future as well. We have the pilot application. Uh, and we are practically one step before this, uh, uh, hopefully at the next MOSIM, I uh, will be able to uh, report more on what happened in uh, um, the drill that we're planning to do. And uh, um, we, are, we will try to uh, apply all these new systems that we uh, are developing and uh, uh, try to uh, somehow measure their effectiveness. Uh, it's going to be um, a real-life uh, simulation of all the tools that have been um, involved and have been developed throughout uh, this project and uh, will give us information on uh, what works, what we can do better and uh, uh, what will be uh, our future research uh, um, endeavors. To conclude, this uh, uh, project uh, uh, hopefully will uh, help in the improvement of safety operations uh, uh, and will help in the optimization of the relevant processes at the end of the tunnel operator, but also it will uh, uh, help uh, educate tunnel users on safety measures and the relevant procedures. We know very well that uh, uh, most of the times accidents uh, um, involve human errors and we also know very well that especially uh, when tunnels uh, when we're talking about tunnel accidents self-rescue so what the users will do is uh, of utmost importance for uh, alleviating um, uh, unfavorable uh, outcomes of uh, such accidents and of course, uh, um, we have the, the potential contribution in supporting tunnel operations and emergency services to confront fire incidents uh, successfully. That is uh, uh, probably the most uh, important outcome of uh, this uh, project. So these are our partners. The, um, the full name of the project is Holistic Management of Resources and Emergencies on Motorways and Road Tunnels through an Integrated Intelligent Technology System. Um, these uh, are our partners, as I referred to them um, before, and uh, we're very grateful to um, Greece and European Union for funding uh, this uh, research under the um, uh, program, which is the Operation Pro Program on Competitiveness, Entrepreneurship and uh, Innovation. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Um, uh, I hope that uh, uh, I will be able to answer any questions either um, at the time of the conference or uh, I'm happy to answer your questions through email. And of course, make sure to visit our um, uh, site of the project where you will be informed about all the research, uh, the recent developments. Thank you for your attention.